Okay, I just want to show everyone that I've pl placed these branches in here, so it's made it really awesome for her. And what's a nice surprise is she's actually come out to eat them. See? How cute is she? She is so content. So she's happily... She's actually not meant to be out during the day. They sleep during the day. Her eyes um, are quite closed now. But she knows that... She kind of senses my smell, so... She knows she's safe with me. But yeah, just watch her eating away on the paper bag. She's happy. She's got all this to feast on for herself. And like I said, this is a possum box that I have for her. Normally I would not be able to get her on video like this. And there's a little hole cut out on the side there. That's it, where she's standing. So I won't get too close to her because I don't want to scare her. So she's kind of cautious, but at the same time she knows she's fairly safe and she's really content. Oh, and the reason why I've got the teddy bear strung up like this is, um, like I said, her mum was hit by a car that I showed you in previous video footage. And the, um, this bear I bought at St. Vinny's for about $2, which is put perfect for her. So she can just ride its back thinking that the bear is her mum, just to give her, to soothe her a bit. Um, so she doesn't get too traumatized from the loss of her mum when her mum was hit by the car. But she's doing really well. She's growing up. And um, yeah, this is our unique and amazing Sydney wildlife that's um, specially put in here to house her and allow her to sleep. And I'll be putting two more in my little tiny yard because uh, I've come to realize that we have possums in our backyards here in Dulwich Hill. So she's an awesome little thing. Look how cute she is. How could anyone not love our possums? They are so gentle. All they want to do is um, live alongside us. And all we need to be aware of is rip out any exotic species of plants in our gardens and start planting um, the proper food shrubs and trees like banksia, bottle brush, paper bark, revelia, even eucalyptus rosacea. They've got the hybrid versions you can pick up at Flower Power. That grows three meters tall by three meters wide and um, have our awesome and unique wildlife living with us and I've come to hear rumors as well that there are bandicoots running along our in our yards as well I know some of the specialists say that it's not there are rats but there are actual bandicoots that have been sighted through the inner west area so something to be aware of and more trees and look if there's five million people living in Sydney if every one of us sticks one beautiful Australian tree in our backyard that can grow up to about say 12 meters or 14 meters that's an extra five million trees that we can have in the world and it's much needed and it will help to clear our air and give us more oxygen especially here in the city. Old growth trees is much needed by most of our um, parrots and lorikeets and um, you know even the sugar gliders out there that are probably getting slaughtered as trees are being torn down. So something to be aware of and to raise the awareness with all our councils and our community. But the councils out there are doing some awesome work and they are planting more and more of our food trees for our wildlife on the streets. But we need to get more in our yards as well. So thanks for listening. Something I just wanted to um, take note of. Oh, while we're watching my gorgeous possum having a feast and enjoying the paper bark that she's eating right now.